Hello, champs. Got a question for you. Are you ready? Now, if you have a bottle filled with water and another bottle of the same weight filled with oil, how do you think I can find the weight of the oil and water? Very simple, right? All I need to do is to subtract the weight of the bottle filled with oil and water respectively from the weight of the empty bottle. That's very smart. Do you know this is how we calculate relative density of a substance? Let's take an example to buttress our point. An empty density bottle weighs 5 newton. If it weighs 10 newton when filled with kerosene and 12 newton when filled with water, what is the relative density of kerosene? How do we go about this? From our illustration above, we will find the weight of the kerosene and the weight of water respectively. Weight WO will be weight of empty bottle, W1 will be weight of bottle plus kerosene, W2 will be weight of bottle plus water. However, we won't stop there. We will compare them together in a ratio. Relative density of kerosene will now be W1 minus W0 bracket divided by W2 minus W0 bracket. That will be 10 minus 5 bracket divided by 12 minus 5. That will be 5 over 7. Today, we have learned that we can calculate the relative density of a compound using this formula. Relative density of substance will now be equal to density of substance divided by density of water. It has no unit because it is a ratio of similar units. So the units cancel themselves out. <laughs> I'm sure you enjoyed the class. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.